What's going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic coming to you from the second time this year the Phoenix Raceway here uh, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona Avondale to be exact and uh, you see I've got my big dumb hat on here We are camping just outside the track here at Phoenix once again just like I did this spring and how about William Byron sneaking into the championship four last week? If you guys missed it, the race ended in Martinsville and William Byron was out. He was in fifth. Then Christopher Bell got a, a post-race penalty that switched Byron just sneaking in with points. So the three in front of him won races here in the playoffs. William Byron did not, but he made the championship four. He is racing for a 2024 Cup Series championship this Sunday right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm gonna be rooting him on. We're gonna be doing stuff a little different this time. The last time I was here, I didn't even finish the weekend this spring. As you guys remember, I fell off the roof of this RV and broke my ribs and missed the races. It was miserable. New rule, not allowed on the roof, Eric. Also, you, I, when I renewed my tickets, I picked a new site this time. So we are in sunset area here. And as you can see, got a big site here. That's because I purchased two side-by-side -side sites. Uh, they are much more affordable here in Phoenix than say Daytona or Texas. Uh, I think it's $275 per site. And so I've got this one, which I thought maybe Diana was gonna bring her rig, or maybe I was gonna bring the bus. I didn't bring the bus, but we are working on the bus today. And then I got this site here and no neighbors, the road and the entrance of the campgrounds right there. So we've got lots of room here uh, for the week. We're gonna be out here a week, Monday through Monday, but this is not just all racing. In fact, the first race is not till Friday. We've got the ARCA series and then the championship of the Craftsman Truck Series also. So Friday is gonna be a big day. Until then, we are working on the bus. So Diana and I are gonna hop in the truck and go check out something brand new that I heard about and share it with you guys, the RV salvage yard of Phoenix, Arizona, a lot like that one I used to go to up in Washington State. We need stuff. So thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some connected internet. Check out the video description below for unlimited high-speed internet. Let's hop in Frosty, get Diana out here, and uh, we'll go see what we can find for the bus build. All right, we've left the track. We're here in like an industrial area of Glendale, Arizona, and we're about to go check out RV Yard here. See, we've got lots of room in the back of the truck, just in case. <laughs> so this is the place, RV Yard Automotive Recycler. And just uh, peeking in their bay, I'm already seeing RV parts. I believe they are the same system as Chehalis, where they kind of tear the R RVs apart and you go inside to see what you can get. Just uh, walked in here and look at this. They got couches and, and sofa sleepers. They've got air conditioners and shrouds. They've got whole pieces of RVs on the wall, but uh, if you want a standard RV furnace, and I'm gonna need some parts because my furnace don't work no more. They've got water heaters. They've even got some that still have the outer casing. They got propane stoves. They got old school ovens down here. Hey, all you schooly people that, that need a vent, they sell vents you can just install right into your schoolie and then direct it outside. I don't know if we're gonna do gas, but I do like how this little mini fridge and stove match. They got toaster ovens. They got RV steps and stairs. Yep, if you lose a compartment door, like, like a furnace door or a refrigerator door, I am quite pleasantly surprised. They've even got used toilets and the AC shrouds are $100 if you hit a branch and lose your shroud somewhere. These look like furnace blowers, or AC blowers, yeah. Wayne's had to do that job quite a few times. They got manual steps if you want to swap out your electric ones. Some caps, and ooh, everybody keeps telling me I need those on the Bigfoot. Also, we're gonna need a sink and a schoolie, and um, we, we might find one used instead. Here's a, here's a really big one. They got bathroom sinks. 
Wow, they've got everything. They got backup cameras here and fans and uh, camper struts to lift. Uh, back here in the back, we found an entire awning section. So if you wanted to install an old school, you know, like RV style awning onto your schoolie, which is something we have talked about. I don't like the electric ones, but I, I do like just the old school style. And they've got all the parts you need. They've also got window toppers. These are the ones that go over the windows so that you can open your windows when, when it's raining. And I mean, they really have a lot of them, a lot of different sizes and different canvas conditions. A monster supply of wheel simulators. We always lose these if you don't bolt them on. I'm just pointing out, they have a lot of them. Oh my, they even have water tanks here. So a, a lot of fresh water tanks, that's a holding tank. These ones are holding tanks. This is a gray tank. Okay, so something, if one of these fits under your sink or cabinet, um, there's a big tank there. These are more conventional style that um, I'm looking for in the bus, but I think I'm gonna go new with those instead. Lots to choose from, okay. Cushions. I'm gonna go check out those washer and dryer combos over there. They've got refrigerator racks and shelving. You could take out all your schoolie windows and put in RV conventional style windows too. Lots. So what do we got here? Have I heard of these? A splendid, Splendide 2000. Yep. Okay, washing machine only. This one doesn't dry. That's a washer dryer combo and that's an electric 110 volt dryer for your RV. Uh, I actually put one of these in my last Tioga, these jackknife sofas. <laughs> um, I like them, they're, they're okay, but we're not, we're not going that route this time in, in the schoolie. These are nice because you can build them up yourself and build storage underneath. They also have a couple refrigerators over here. Look at that price though, $3,000. That's a Dometic. I think it's, yeah, it's a two-way, so it's propane and 12 volt. It's a monster fridge. This is more like a conventional Americana fridge here. But we're gonna be going residential, I think. Yeah, little beer cooler there. Uh, possible seats that we could use as a passenger seat. Because so many people keep mentioning, where's Diana gonna sit in the bus? Well, she might not even ride in the bus. She might just be in the truck or her own rig behind me in the bus. But we have not ruled out the idea of uh, adding some sort of a passenger seat inside the bus for trips like that. Let's we'll see. Anyway, a lot of exciting stuff here and I'm sure we'll be making lots of trips for supplies. We're also gonna need a ladder for the back of the bus to access the roof and they have lots of different sizes. So we need to do some more measuring and plan a, plan a few things out, but at least I know what they have here and this is a much bigger place than the one in Shalis, Washington that I've gone to ever since I was a kid. Uh, good to know that we have this right here in Phoenix. Okay, well, we got lots of ideas. We're not gonna get anything today. We are gonna head over to the Habitat for Humanity Restore. We're gonna be looking at some other things like possibly cabinets or flooring or other sinks and stuff like that. But um, we're just, we're just kind of getting our feet wet and test, seeing what's out here, you know? Got nothing better to do, there's no races going on, so. All right, one more. Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's been a while since I've been in one of these stores, probably. Well, we had one uh, in on the west side, Olympia, Washington. Could be, could be our go-to spot. We'll see what they got in here. I take that back. Uh, I've never been in a, in a Habitat for Humanity restore quite this big and massive. Uh, <laughs> they have a lot here, like couches. There's Adirondack chairs that we could paint blue or teal. They have all kinds of cabinets that you put together yourself. Uh, and, and, and understand too, I, I know that these are gonna meet, need to be reinforced for travel. These are meant to go in a home, but you can, you can do certain things to, to make them better, you know? So, and what are the prices? $48 for a 12 inch? Yeah, see, so you could, you could build the whole thing here. Huh. Speaking of nautical themed, this is one big art piece for the wall. <laughs> Interesting. 
and um, well we're still hoping to use our live edge and repair the cracks but they've got butcher block eight foot sections 219 I mean a lot of people do butcher block in buses um, I would like to try to save and salvage what we've got first we'll see and then stuff like this I mean yeah this this could be used as a countertop how much is this one? 201? 200 bucks a piece. I don't know if that's a good deal on those or not, but $72 for this one. This one's a little deeper. And I think that's designed to have a sink in it, I, I believe. I can't tell. We, we haven't really picked what height we want for our kitchen table, or kitchen wood yet. Ah, bathroom vanities. Now we don't think we're gonna use a bathroom vanity because we're gonna go simple and just say, you know what, we can brush our teeth in the kitchen sink. Yeah. You know? But we do need a nice uh, sink for the, that's heavy, wow. Oh, I thought this those are sinks? Sale. Yeah, these yeah are those sinks. are sinks. Eric, walk away from the Whirlpool spa tub here. Walk away, we do not need this. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 200? 50 bucks? 200 for this fiberglass tub. All right, well that escalated quickly. We were looking at a shower pan that's two inch, a shower pan at Home Depot that was $219. And here's an entire bathtub shower basin for $200. And the drains on the right side, it's exactly 30 inches wide, five feet long. And then we can build up from there to waterproof all four sides. The fact that the drain and the water supply is already on the right side that we've already picked. And we're going to get a $50 sink that fits with our redwood. And we walked by this table for working at Quartzsite. This is a, a folding table. I don't know what it's worth, but I know 35 bucks for this sucker is a good deal. So we're going to grab these three things today at least. And we're still looking. We're getting a bathtub and a sink today. Okay. <laughs> Well, crumb, I was getting back here to scoot out this tub and I noticed this crack right here. It's been damaged and it, my nail's hitting it all the way down here. Right now it's spread to there. And my worry is that once it gets in the bus and starts moving, there's no end to that particular crack there. Um, it's repairable, sure. I don't think you'll be, I don't think you'll be able to hide the repair after you do it, but I am actually gonna pass on this tub and we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking at tubs. Uh, change of plans. We weren't we weren't even filming this one, but we went to another restore here in West Phoenix mm -hmm. or yeah, Central Phoenix or something like that. And we are loading up the truck, guys. We now have cabinets. There's still more coming, but we have cabinets for the Live Edge Redwood countertop. And we're gonna repurpose them. They are used. We got the whole set for $80. They're wheeling out some more stuff, and then we're gonna have to secure them and make them roadworthy and build them up. Apparently, we're right near the airport, so we'll get the rest of it loaded up here and may have to make a separate trip back to Quartzsite during the race here, but we're having fun, man. Getting bus stuff. Well, we're back in the RV. It's nighttime. I know I haven't shown much of the kittens, but <laughs> Tara's being super cuddly here as we got the other three. Got Gizmo here. You got Chunky Monkey over there, and of course the Opie Dopies right to there. And uh, Yang is actually asleep. Uh, Yang and and Diana are actually uh, sleeping in the bedroom. So I've got I've got these four fuzzy butts. Okay, cutting back in here the next day. It's only going to hit 70 degrees today here in Phoenix, and it's very windy. Also, got some new neighbors over here go over here and check out to see how full it's getting a lot of people are waiting till the last minute diana and i actually just celebrated our five month anniversary last night so we went out to eat and had a great meal and some drinks and just kind of tried to take our minds off this crazy week the, the weekend coming what else does go oh, yeah i also got some other sad news no easy way to say this but uh, Felix, big dog RVer, got the news from some friends last night that he lost his battle to cancer. I lost touch with him several months ago 
he was not well, he was not healthy, and he was fighting so hard. I, he did end up leaving Phoenix area and was trying to get to Texas to be with some relatives. And then he went on hospice. And then again, I, nobody could get a hold of him, but uh, they have told us that uh, he, has, he has passed away. He's lost his battle. Um, I know... I know he was a spiritual man, and I take solace in the fact knowing that he doesn't have to fight anymore here on Earth, and uh, hopefully he's up there in a better place with God and at peace. It's sad. It's cancer has taken a lot of my friends lately. <sighs> yeah. What else is going on? Oh, it's sunny. Oh, Taterland. Let me show you a picture of Taterland yesterday also. It was a weird day. Taterland got about eight inches of snow. My buddy Danny is uh, staying there for the winter, so uh, he's clearing the solar panels and, and keeping the property. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, my property could be a great summer destination. It's really the only time of year you're going to catch me there anymore. The problem is just the monsoons and rains make it unusable every day. Um, we're gonna fix that later with like some more covers and shelters and more interior space and then just know that at any point the skies could open up and just start dumping and flood you out of any project you're working on. So maybe going into my property with that mentality will, will help me next time I go there to get stuff done. I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, snow at Taterland. So I did the timing right to go get her bus and my trailer and everything. It's not a whole lot going on tonight here at the track, but we do have some stuff going on over there. So I'm going to film here Wednesday, try to get this all this video uploaded for Thursday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are crazy here at the track. I am also trying to get an, another bathtub. There's a guy on Marketplace here in Buckeye, or the next city over in Buckeye, who has another uh, five foot by 30 inch tub brand new in the box same price 200 and i asked him is there are there any cracks because i'm going to find them when i get there and if there's no cracks i will go pick that up today um i may have to take a trip back to quartzite though with the tub and all these cabinets and stuff because we're collecting too much stuff but we'll see we'll see oh yeah just picked up my bus tub it's a Sterling by Kohler, Kohler. Uh, it's not fiberglass, it is molded plastic and uh, no cracks in this one. It is a $650 brand new. He listed it five weeks ago for 400 and he just took 200 bucks cash. <laughs> um, I've got, so now I need to load up my cabinets again. I got the sink in the back and I'm going to have to go make a separate trip to uh, Quartzsite where my bus is at. Um, we do have a new visitor at Quartzsite. A friend of mine is at my camp right now, live. So uh, as, soon as, as soon as my chicken's done here on the grill, um, I'll eat some of them, put some in the fridge and drive back to Quartzsite, La Posa South, drop everything off, see how Wayne's doing give him the bus keys maybe he can get started or get start getting some ideas on the bus <laughs> at least there's nothing going on right now you know there's no races that i'm missing all right i made it got everything loaded up over here everything's really dusty because it was super windy but I got the shower cabinets the sink the adirondack chairs fired up diana's bus i'm firing up uh the school bus here and uh look who's here like literally when i left RV Prepper Wayne showed up. I'm sorry, man. I, no, that's fine. I would invite you to the races, but I had it pre-planned, and I didn't. I didn't realize that you're going to be here this quick from Florida. But yeah, it's I'm good to here. see you, man. I'm here. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. So the, so the plan is, I'm going to be doing demo on the bus, and you are my my power guy, my my solar. We're going to do an epic solar, solar electric, water, DC power, DC. PEX, Romex. Um, it all's on my shoulders. <laughs> uh, but you've done this kind of stuff before, and oh, I think yeah, between yeah. you and me, we're going to pull this off. Oh, yeah. We're right. going to do everything wrong, but yeah, just it's make, still going to work. Just so y'all can tell but it's still, we did it wrong. 
<laughs> yes, yes, of course. All right. Yep. So, so RB Pepper Wayne is going to be staying here for the next four days while we finish the NASCAR stuff. Yep. And then I'll be back, and we'll start this off. Are you? Looking? I've already started. Okay, he's already started on the bus. Um, what about if other people are looking for solar? Are you are you open for hire? Yeah, just here? Get, yeah, just solar? send me an email. Uh, RV Pepper or R V P R P E R at gmail dot com. I'll also put that in the video description. He's here. He's got some extra time. So if you're looking for stuff related to solar, give him an email. Yep. Some more work, and um, I will see you in four days. See you in four days. Later, bud. Thanks, thanks for keeping it down. Go Byron. Yeah, go Byron. <laughs> And good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It is Thursday. I'm going to get this finished up, edited, and uploaded today with Connect and Internet. Got everything taken care of. Just a long, long night. And uh, maybe I'm overcomplicating things, but I swear, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's all races. I'm not even going to think about the bus. Y'all have a great rest of your week, and I'll be showing you some unique perspectives of the championship NASCAR races this weekend. We'll see you in a few days. Okay, bye, guys.